As this week begins, let's talk about your next move. Imagine life as a game of chess. Now, God plays first, and when God makes God's move, God gives you unbelievable good and opportunity. God gives you skills. Now, you may not have uncovered all of them yet or, or discovered all of them, but you will in time. The main thing is you have to move to do so. Napoleon Hill, the great writer, said, It is always your next move. We have to realize that we are equipped. Now it's up to us to make the move. In 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 12 in our Bible, it says, Walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you to God's own kingdom and glory. Well, because we are creatures of free will, we make choices, lots of them. When we make choices that are pleasing to God, we will be blessed in profound, miraculous ways. When we choose to follow in the footsteps of God's Son, we will enjoy abundance that God has promised to all those that follow the nature of Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, sometimes we make choices that are displeasing to the overall purpose of our life. We sow seeds that have a potential to bring us a very unhappy harvest. Today, as you begin this week, as you go about what seems to be the routine of daily living, you will actually be making hundreds of choices. Will you choose wisely? You say, yes, I'm going to make the next move, and it's going to be a wise move. You start by making your thoughts and your actions pleasing to God. In other words, you're loving instead of angry at someone. In other words, you do something good without asking who's going to get the credit. You do wonderful deeds throughout the day to brighten where you are. And you'll find that as you live a life like this, oh, you'll be blessed. Every time you make a positive choice, think about this as you're making that choice, that God is watching. And also realize that God is rewarding, that even when you feel alone, you're not. Realize in this week, you have unlimited opportunity, but the next move is yours. God bless you.